In this lesson, learn how to create a chalkboard background and add text. Free textures, fonts, and brushes found online will add to the effect. Let's begin. From the File menu, select New, then select Blank File. In the New dialog box, enter the final dimensions of the image you want to create. I'm creating an image that is 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. I've set the resolution at 72 pixels per inch because I'm going to use this image online. The background contents are transparent, but you could use any color you want, and click OK. Press D to set the default foreground color to black and background color to white. We want to keep black as our foreground color. Click on the background color swatch to open the color picker, and then choose a very dark gray, almost black, as the background color. Click OK. From the filter menu, choose Render and then choose Clouds. Our clouds are a deep black and a dark gray, so when they're blended together, they almost look like dust on a blackboard. Let's build up our background by adding a texture. From the File menu, select Place and then open a texture that you found online. I'm using a scratched metal texture. Click Place, then drag and drop the corners of the bounding box over the image until the texture covers the entire image. Then press Enter. From the File menu, change the Blend Mode from Normal to Overlay or Soft Light. Let's try Overlay first, and that gives us some nice dark scratches on our texture. And try Soft Light and the scratches are even more visible, so we'll stick with soft light. Now we'll use brushes to add even more texture to our image. In the Layers panel, create a new layer above the texture layer. Then select the Brush tool. Let's change the foreground color to white. I can press D to set the default foreground colors, then press X to set white as our foreground color. Open the Brush Picker and choose a special brush. I'm using some chalkboard brushes that I found online. If you do not have the brushes installed on your system, you can click the menu to the top right in the brush picker, select Load Brushes, find the brushes on your computer, and then click Load to load those brushes. Let's choose a brush. I'm going to use Sampled Brush 3. It's a very large brush, so I'm going to reduce it to about the same size as my image and set the opacity to 100% and then click once on the image. Let's choose another brush to use. Let's go down and choose Sampled Brush 10. Reduce the size again and then click again to add some of that other brush to the image. In the Layers panel, reduce the opacity of that layer so that it blends in with the image below. And let's put a little more on the left-hand side. If the effect is still strong, add a layer mask to the chalk layer, set the foreground color to black, Let's set the opacity down to around 25%. You can just type it in. And notice I'm still using the brush that I used before, and I'm going to brush over the center of the image to darken it a bit. And because I'm using one of the chalk brushes, it will have an interesting look on our layer mask. Let's increase the opacity just a little bit and we'll paint over the center of the image more to darken it a little more and then adjust the opacity either down or up till you get the effect that you like. I like this at about 43 percent. And we've created a chalkboard. Let's now add a vignette to the chalkboard to darken the edges. Create a new layer above the brush layer. 
press D to set black as the default foreground color. Then press Alt and Backspace or Option and Backspace to fill that layer with black. Select the Rectangular Marquee tool and in the tool options set a feather of about 50 pixels. Then make a selection from the top left corner to the bottom right corner and press Delete to delete the pixels in the center of the selection. Then from the Select menu choose Deselect and we've created a vignette around our blackboard. Let's write on the blackboard with chalky text. In the Layers panel, create a new layer above the vignette layer. Then change the foreground color from black to white. You can click that little arrow to switch it. Select the Horizontal Type tool and in the Type Options, open up the Font Picker to choose the font you want to use. I'm using Handy George. I've set the type size at 144 pixels because of the size of my file. Selected anti-aliasing and let's click and type our text. Click anywhere outside the image to set it. Then move it around where you want it. Create a new layer above the sweet corn layer. Choose the horizontal type tool again. The next font I'm going to use is Bergamo Ornaments, which has some nice chalky looking ornaments to it. The Y character in Bergamo or Ornaments will give me the word and. Click outside again. Move the word down. Add a new layer above that Y layer. Choose the horizontal type tool again and the third font we are going to use is chalk hand lettering shaded and we'll type in our font. Click outside again and drag to place your text. You can find many free fonts online that look like chalk on a blackboard. Some chalkboards are green. What if you want to make a green chalkboard? It's very easy. Just follow all the steps I gave you to create a black chalkboard. Then select the background image, the image of the clouds. In the Layers panel, add a new solid color adjustment layer above that background layer and choose a green as your color and let's just choose a deep green, a brighter green if you want a brighter board, and then click OK. To change the effect a bit, select the texture background and change it from soft light to overlay and you have a darker green background. You could also try multiply on that texture layer for a different green background which is more muted than before. In this way you can create many variations of blackboard backgrounds to use in your images.